Uh, I'm going to uh, make a series of videos about to implement rational numbers using C++ language using template metaprogramming technique or template metaprogramming technique to develop uh, to implement rational number, we need to understand how to implement the GCD, greatest common divisor, and using Euclidean algorithm. Then we also need a uh, generalized Euclidean algorithm. Euclidean algorithm usually deals with two, uh, two arguments, but generalized Euclidean alg alg algorithm deals with three or two or more uh, arguments, like three arguments or four arguments, etc. Then we will define Fraction, class fraction, it has two members like numerator and denominator. Numerator can be any number greater than or equal to 1, any integer greater than or equal to 1, and numerator can be any integer uh, from negative, uh, negative infinity or positive infinity theoretically, but there is a limit. And then we will implement the rational number, integer part, and the fractional part. This fractional part comes from here. And integer part can be any uh, integer type, negative or positive. But fractional part can be defined like this, numerator, uh, denominator. And numerator can be 0, 1, 2, 3, whole, uh, integer greater than or equal to 0. And denominator will be 1, 2, 3. So the fractional part is always positive and in integer part can be negative as well. This is class rational, this is class fraction, and we will I will explain how to implement all these things in this series of video. While while explaining this course, I will I will I will explain how to use template meta programming technique. I would recommend you if you haven't read this book. Uh, C++ template metaprogramming this book. If you haven't read this book, please, please purchase this book and read it. I got fundamental ideas about me template metaprogramming from this book. Also, videos, I will, I will detail every code, every part of these classes and how to use them. So, play, stay tuned and watch and uh, subscribe my, my YouTube video channel. And if you have questions and comments, please leave it in the comment section. Then I will try to answer uh, as much as possible. Also, I will share the whole source code and libraries. Thanks for watching.